Hello, my art friends. We're here today and we're going to be doing a haunted house, our very own haunted house painting. Now, a couple of things you're going to need. You're going to need the template for the houses. There's three of them in there. You can get them in my link in the description. You're going to need some plain paper to paint on. You're going to need a paintbrush. And if you need paintbrush, you probably realize you're going to be needing some temper paint, tempera paint. You're going to be painting. You do need white, and then you will either need a purple, an orange, maybe even a green or a blue in order to do your painting. All right, let's get started with our painting. All right, first what I'm going to do, I'm going to decide if I'm going to be doing a landscape or a photograph. For this one, I'm going to be doing the landscape, doing it the landscape wise. First, I'm going to dip into my white paint. You're going to be using white and a color each time. So I'm just going to start right up here and I'm going to do a circle in white. Very simple circle. I find with these bigger brushes, I can just turn it in a circle and there's my circle. All right, now's where it gets a little bit different. We're going to add just a little bit of purple. Now, since this is going to be my painting, I'm going to go ahead and put it in there and it's I'm going to be adding some each time as I go around that circle. So each time as I go further, it's going to get darker and darker. And as you can see, as I'm mixing my paint here, my paint's almost still white. It's a little bit purple, but I don't want it to be too dark yet because that's going to have to go all the way around the paper. All right. So I've got me some of my purplish white. I'm going to go around now. That circle I already did. It may go up to the corner. May. Yep, mine did. Okay, another circle. I think I got a little bit into there. All right, so there's one. I'm gonna keep adding purple and do the next line. I may have too much paint this time. That's okay. All right. Add a little bit more, make that even a little bit darker. About like so. Another one on the outside of there. Each time, each circle, each pass, going to be getting a little bit darker. Now, if you're using temper or paint, you don't have to worry about it getting on stuff because it doesn't stain. We can wash it off when we're done always important to clean it out and we clean our brushes really good as well. Okay. Add a bit more. I think I got way too much white. More purple in there. There we go. That's looking better. Looking better. Okay. Next row. You should start to see it getting darker and darker as we go. And I'm not liking how mine is so far, so I'm going to add quite a bit more purple. There we go. That's looking better. That's looking way better. All right, there we go. That's probably more this one. I'm going to put that one up here. All right, remember each row is going to get darker and darker. Mine wasn't getting dark enough yet. So, there we go, that's better. Add a bit more purple in there. There we go. Now we're talking, now we're getting dark. Okay, I'm gonna go here. All right, I'm going to make this my last one. Okay, 
So now you've seen me do one. I'm gonna do two others really quick in different colors, just so you can see a little bit better about how much paint to use. I got way too much paint in mind to start off with, so I'm gonna show you a better amount to use to start off your painting. All right, go ahead and watch those, and then go ahead and get started on doing yours. Remember, we start with white, with the circle for the moon, and then we go slightly darker each time till we get to the end. All right, we'll do this pretty fast, and then we'll show you the next step. All right, now while you're waiting for them to dry, you can clean up your paints, get them all cleaned out, make sure you get all the paint out of your brush. If you don't get the paint out of your brush, you'll wreck your brush because it will become hard and you can never use it again. So make sure you wash your brushes really well. Then you're gonna take that print out. Now, I do have three on there that are at the bottom of this in the comments you can see, and you can print those out. Now, I printed them on yellow paper. Why did I print them on yellow paper? Well, by printing them on yellow paper, I don't have to put a yellow paper behind. So if you were to cut this out on white paper, let's say you only had white paper available, which is fine. Print it on white, and then I would tape or glue, probably tape, a yellow piece of paper to the back of the white one with this printed, and then cut it out. The reason why I did it on yellow is because then I don't have to cut out the windows. It looks really cool when you cut out the windows, don't get me wrong, but to save time, I printed it on yellow, so all I had to do is cut out the house. So, once it's dried, you will then take your cutouts, whichever one that you're doing first. You're gonna put a lot of glue on the whole back of it, and then I'm gonna grab one of mine, and actually grab the purple one, and I'm gonna glue it where I want my house to be. I'm gonna say right there. All right, I've got an orange one as well. I'm gonna put it over here. Mine aren't glued yet, because my paint is still wet. All right, then on my orange one, mine are also wet still. They do take a while to dry because you do end up using quite a bit of paint. I'm gonna put my orange one right there. All right, now once it is completely dry, you do have to wait for this next step for it to be completely dry. You should wait to glue those houses on until it's completely dry as well. However, now you're gonna use a Sharpie marker and you're gonna draw some birds in the sky. You're gonna draw a tombstone maybe, maybe a scary old tree with a felt tip marker. I'll show you how. All right, had to take a little break there while I waited for everything to dry. Now I'm gonna show you how to finish. For this part, you're gonna need a felt tip marker you can also use a Sharpie. Either one will work just fine. And we're gonna do some drawings on there to finish off our piece of art. All right, let's get started. All right, so on this one, I'm gonna do a bit of a mountain here. Comes down to the house. And let's see, I'm gonna shade that in. I'm gonna use my other marker. This one's not 
too good. There we go. That's better. Now, you don't have to do a mountain. You can do a mountain if you'd like. It's completely up to you. But as you can see, the bigger the object, the more coloring you've got to do to fill it in. So, I wouldn't go too crazy on this. Okay, I'm going to add on top of this mountain a tombstone. Now I can either color it in, I can write rest in peace. It's up to you, however you'd like to decorate that. I'm also going to, on this particular one, I'm gonna draw a haunted tree. I'm gonna have it come up from the bottom. Have it come up, it's gonna have some branches without leaves. All I'm drawing are lines. Very simple, easy to do. Okay, I'm also going to draw, let's see, I'm gonna do a bat. I want a bat up here flying. It is Halloween, so I want a bat. I'm gonna have it come out with its wings. And you can draw anything you'd like. If you'd like to do a witch, you could do a witch. I just have chosen to do a bat. I give him two pointy ears, and I'm just gonna color the whole thing in. He's just flying in the night sky. Maybe, oh, this might be kind of cool. I can do it. hand coming out of the grave up there, making it creepy. Now, if your copy wasn't that grand, you can always go back over your house. You could use a crayon even just to darken it up a little. Mine, it's got a lot of yellow. The print didn't come off that good. So if I decide to, I can always color it in a little bit better.
That's gonna wrap it up for us this time. I can't wait to see what you've done. Feel free to send those over to me. I can't wait to see how creative you've got with your silhouettes and with your paint. Now, if you have an idea for a video, please send me something that you would like to see us make. If you'd like a certain art project, let me know. We'll see what we can do to help you out. Have a great rest of your day, guys. We'll see you next time for a little bit of fun with art. <laughs>